and continuing with ETAC with the remaining three lights that are new for the lineup. Todd? Uh, we almost overlooked our, our new little oh. favorite, which is... You snuck that one in on us. You snuck this in on you. It's uh, 1,200 lumens using three Double AA batteries. Ideally rechargeable batteries, but you can use uh, standard alkaline batteries as well. But that's the other new thing is with these new uh, Cree XHP 35 LEDs, we're now getting enormous amounts of lumens out of, out of compact lights. I mean, 1,200 lumens using three AA lights is just unheard of. Yeah. Now this bezel, is this a... That's a diffuser. Oh, bezel? I'm sorry. That is a diffuser. So um, you can switch the so output. Front, front flashlight or... Now it's a lantern. Right. Then go back to the small output. Or both. So you can have both lantern, diffuser, and flashlight on. Okay. Some people, some people found that um, when you're using in a, in a darkened area, walking the dog, etc., this can produce a little bit of glare. So some of the newer models now they have a glare shield to minimize that effect. Okay. Yeah. So you still have your lantern and your area, or both. Or both. Very good. Um, and continuing on where we left off is the, another new one from Eagle Tech is a 2000 lumen, uses 18650 rechargeable battery and using a, the new USB C st standard port for 2000 lumens. So tail switch, usual, head tight. All, all Eagle Tacks work the same way. Head tight is always max, and if it's twisty, then slightly loose and will drop to high, drop to low, then drop, you know, drop to medium, then drop, It'll drop ramp to down. low. It'll ramp Yeah. Um, another new bad boy in the mix is uh, using a, a three-pack of 18650s. In a triangular configuration. So these use this the industry standard Panasonic battery. Eagle Tag adds the button top and a protection circuit. And those are manufactured in-house. The battery itself is not manufactured in-house, but by the Panasonic Sanyo and then Eagle Tag makes the, the, uh, the triple triangular configuration right and that's matched up with voltage and right. so the battery packs are matched up for best function efficiency um, so this is 5,000 lumens using uh, three 18650s <laughs> 5,000 lumens and something just a little bit bigger than your hand amazing and you go wow well, that's 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 a little bit too big wow well, what's the uh, in what what is the lowest uh, lumen setting for this uh, 20 40 yeah. about 20, 20 to 40 or 40 yeah we have strobe as well. Okay, so we've got two buttons here for the lower settings. So on off, on off, right. and then mode switch. Right, right. And you can go straight to the actual. And then there's also switch. a battery level indicator. It tells you if you've got full ba full battery, three quarter battery, half battery, right. almost empty battery. And you can alternate between the buttons to, to on, like you said, on off. If you happen to get up, say, to the secondary setting, and then you just want to ramp it down, you just go to that so other button. Tail switch and head switch is always going to give you max on. Right. And then if you want to start with low, then, then use the, Alt the secondary, Alt secondary button. And this, too, is a rechargeable. Okay. And then the newest, smaller brother to that is the new uh, MX30 L3. CR, and this is 6,000 lumens <laughs> with uh, with the same uh, three six pack. LEDs, and that's got the six LEDs, correct? Correct. Yeah. So we're getting close to 5,000 lumens with a single LED versus 6,000 lumens. Now we've got smooth reflectors here. We've got uh, orange peel type reflector here. This is a much deeper reflector, just by my eye. Little shallower reflectors there on, on that light. So higher lux, lower lux, but more more light. Right. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> and Dan pulls something else out of his uh, magic hat. 
They just use different LED. Uh, this one uses an Nitria 219C with uh, 92 CRI. So, uh, better color so rendition. For photographers, okay. for, for the color snobs in the world who don't like the bluish gray cast of Cool White, right. then these have high, high color rendering. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I do actually do it on the floor. So the color rendering gives, gives you better color. So look at the batteries. So for those who are more interested in color accuracy, go with the Nietzsche High CRI. But for those who want maximum lumen glare effects, go for the... Uh, now is that designated by a different model number or model designation or do they, does an end user need to request? Pr pretty much all the models have a standard LED and then there are optional LEDs that can be installed instead of the standard. Okay. So for those who want the high CRI, just request you want the Nietzsche high CRI 219C, which is the newest higher output one compared to the 219B, which we were using. Right. Um, okay. Very good. Well, listen, Dan, do you have anything else to pull out of your magic hat here? Because you keep you keep pulling things from behind the counter. <laughs> That's it for today. That's There's it. 51 lights here. 51 lights. Dan, thank you very much. Appreciate thank it. And Todd, thank you, brother. Good to meet you. Okay.